Hola amigos, in today's video, we're gonna talk about Kestrel and is she broken? Yes, she's been out for a day and you're like, Josh, what the hell do you mean? I'll cover it in my video, don't worry, but you guys have a chance to comment below. Let me know your thoughts in terms of your impressions. Is she OP? Do you like the drones? Do you hate them? Uh, is she annoying? Is she broken? Well, you guys already have a chance. Let me know below. Please like this video if you guys like real company content and let's just cut to the chase, guys. I got no time to waste. All right, so let's get to the video. Uh, for all the new players that are playing Rogue Company, it is awesome that you guys are playing this game. It's a really fun game. But in today's video, it's about Kestrel. I do have a video for her about the guide, tips and tricks. I have two videos. I'll put them above uh, so you guys can check them out. And also, I have a plethora of Rogue Company content that you guys can check out. So please leave a like if you guys like this content. Uh, if you guys dislike it, hit the dislike. Any feedback is good feedback. But give good criticism. Don't just... Give me like negative comments. All right, so let me pause this real quick and explain something to you guys in terms of what I mean by broken. When I cover the broken parts of her, it's either a good thing or a bad thing. And I'll go over each scenario so you guys know what I mean. So now we're not, right now we're using the drones. Uh, for those of you that don't know, she has a drone, uh, which is her main ability. And then her passive is getting that cash. And then she has a perk, which is uh, resupply, which I find that as a second passive because no one else has that ability. I mean, perk until someone else does have, which I'm pretty sure the new characters will have it or they'll probably buff an existing character to carry resupply. So right now the gun feels good. Uh, I'll tell you guys that the gun feels good. Um, you know, what I've noticed is that I had to take it down a notch on my graphics. I was on ultra. I kind of noticed the FPS uh, hurting me. So I kind of went to high and now my shots were hitting and like I felt a little laggy, a delayed in my shots. Um, but I also feel like the hit registration is not triggering in this update for some reason. And I'm not sure what you got. If, if you guys know what I mean by this for the new players, well, let me explain. So let me get my pin and this is what i do guys i draw if you guys don't like me drawing then please just just leave no actually stay this is the hit registration right every character has a hit box i felt like the season before my shots were hitting and now when i shoot even when i shoot in the body it doesn't register and i've noticed that in a couple of games i've been playing uh from this new season i'm not no i'm not sure what you guys think i'm not sure if you guys have had this problem but that is one of the issues that I find broken, not with Kestrel. Maybe it's just Kestrel, but I just find that happening with the characters. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're going to have bugs and all that stuff. Uh, but I really hope they would have fixed that uh, coming into this season now that they're in alpha. But that is one scenario that the hit registration is just not triggering. All right, so right now I'm just holding the position. Uh, Kestrel is pretty dope with the drones. But the one thing that I will say is that the drones sometimes get stuck. And what I mean by that is that when I hit that ability, it doesn't pop. And I have it, guys. I have it with me. Now, this is not an example right now. Uh, but that is one scenario. The other scenario that I'm finding annoying is when she throws her, uh, her gadgets, her bounce grenade. There's a scenario at the end of the game, which I'll show you guys. I am trying to throw those grenades to save my life. It doesn't trigger. Now I know this is gonna come with this game. I know it's gonna come with this new character, but this character is starting to create some annoying things about her, uh, which maybe is triggering other characters as well. Cause I haven't played all the other characters and their new buffs and nerfs, but that is one thing. Um, that I would say about Kestra and her bellies. But overall, she feels really good. Like right now in this matchup, it feels good. Uh, the broken thing that I say that's really awesome in an OP way is the drones, man. Like, geez, like the way that you can shoot the drones and hit a half wall and deal damage still, I, you know, that, you know, the splash damage there, I wouldn't complain. Now the splash damage on a floor near an opponent there, I would complain because it just doesn't hurt him. But her gun is really good. The uh, the recoil is not that bad either. I wouldn't say it's better than an AK. But you see right there? I'm hurting them because of that, right? The splash damage on a half 
wall it just hits different there goes Dima they got Dima so I'll explain what I mean uh, I think in this next round how things get really crazy so the resupply I don't know if they're gonna buff that man I don't know if they're gonna buff the resupply or the bounce grenade uh, the bounce grenade that's another broken gadget uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna fix it but um, you know they call it a bounce grenade for a reason and uh, there's been situations where I played against Castro and like they're chucking the grenade it's bouncing I'm backing up I get blown up or they're chucking multiple grenades because they have multiple resupplies and it's like oh crap it's like a it's like a cluster of grenades it's basically a baby Dima I find that grenade as a baby Dima uh, if you upgrade it to 125 it'll hurt anybody near it here I bounce it no complaints there but again will they nerf that because it does bounce very far see look at that like I just killed uh, a couple of people I think one guy now you guys see those boxes those boxes are the box you guys need to pick up when you guys pick up those boxes you guys will um, you guys will pick up the gadgets you guys will resupply so if you guys have the stem you get the other stem if you get a grenade you get another grenade if you pick another box you get two grenades I don't know if you can uh, stack them but I do get two and you guys will see what I mean just to show you guys now, I don't know if they're gonna fix that but that could be annoying and I'm here to give you guys just a topic of the day I'm not here uh, to kind of be biased and one-sided I want to give you guys both pro perspectives uh, a good thing and a bad thing which could be annoying for players all right we got to pop up again we got to get again the game but yeah the drones you know like I mentioned in my other videos it is manual uh, it's not automatic so you have to plan it where you want to go usually if you're uh, pinching someone in a corner that's a good spot and what I mean by that is uh, let me stop it real quick guys what I mean by that is let's say this box here that you guys see in front of you is here right and let me switch my colors to a blue there's an enemy on this side the blue is the enemy what I'm gonna do in this play and it helps in any game mode uh, is I need to move him I need to kind of like move forward for me to move forward I have to make him think I'm coming this side right so what am I gonna do and what I mean by this side is my right side I'm gonna plant the attack here the drones and I quickly move to my left I can either jump up go to my left at that point this character is going to barrel roll or back up from the cover so this is a good play with Castro and her drones is that you can control points really well or push through it uh, think of it as basically vice traps vice traps are pretty dope you guys can see on the floor here she covers areas which allows you to control the next spot right it allows you to push forward it allows you to move forward uh, and control the point the same way Castro does it but those suckers do damage in terms of just blowing that sucker up he's scared oh crap I need to move left by that time I'm preparing my ADS to shoot him done or hit fire it don't matter uh, you got to be really smart and that right there I don't say it's broken that's just part of the play and the strat that you want to play with um, Kestrel so hopefully that gives you guys an idea of what I'm thinking again there's different scenarios you guys can go about it but it's it's not rocket science guys you guys can figure things out with all these characters and how to use the abilities appropriately how to push forward again when you're going up against a four stack or you're going against uh there you go that's what I mean I need to go back sorry I'll get back to my uh what I meant uh when I was talking a bit but that's what I mean um let me go a little bit back there we go so here I planted the attack I knew he was on the right side it was hard for him to move because I had my teammates on the left side too shooting him so you're kind of stuck in a pinch but as I was saying, uh, if you're playing a four stack, if you're, oh wait, sorry, let me go back. So you see a two stack grenade. I'm just picking them up, guys. You see these boxes? I now have two grenades. This is grenade madness. Again, picked up two. Now I have two again. Uh, replenish another box. Right now, I'm gonna go behind me. Go behind. Pick up another one, got two again. 
and you start chucking grenades like this becomes annoying like I don't know what to do like where do I move so that right there I don't know if they'll fix that or if that's here to stay but that gets pretty crazy guys that gets pretty crazy or will she just stick to one grenade because if you can stack them that's gonna be hella broken I didn't even know if you could do three or four let me know guys could you do three or four stacks because at that point you're like like I said not even a baby demon you're demon now All right, play it safe. Oh, there goes the enemy. Make them think I'm going right. Use the environment. Roll to my left. They're gonna pop up. He's right there. So I was saying uh, about the stack teams. You know, when you're using the drones and you're playing a certain way, you're, you're gonna face those situations where you're facing a four stack where they, they 2v1 you. And if they got a 2v1 you, that's pretty sad. Like my thing is like 1v1 and we'll see who can go down. But I've been in situations where I'm getting like 2v1, 3v1. And it's like, all right, I can't beat you guys like that. Uh, but that's the, the beauty of Kestrel. Like if you have Kestrel, you can push them. You can definitely take out two people easily. I think she's the, she's the one that can make it super easy in terms of taking out two people at the same time. I think Dima could do it too. I've done it before. Vi can do it as well. And then all the other characters, you know, like Chak and Lancer, they can do it if you get that sticky right, but... Yeah, you guys get the point. But that was the example right there. Like, that part, is that broken? Like, could I stack up three, four, or is it two max? Uh, based on trench, you know, because trench going to carry two. But if that's the case, I could just keep picking up, throw them, pick them up, throw them. And it makes sense in strikeout. Because strikeout, there could be multiple boxes. Demo, it's like, all right. You only get four boxes. And even then, you got to be careful to get that box because then that might be a uh, a tactic to take you out. So here in this part of the gameplay, I get stuck in using the gadget. Um, and what I mean, which gadget? The grenade. I'll show you what scene, but right now we're, we're, we're cleaning house. You can play very, very aggressive with her. Once you get a good feel of her gun, it becomes easy, guys. I don't think they will nerf her gun. I think they might fix her gun a bit because the recoil is a little off. My preference. I think it could be a refine a bit. Uh, I do think maybe her her um her second primary might get fixed up because that one's slow, guys. I don't like it. You really need a gun that can shred. Um, not to say you can't you can't rock a shotgun and all the other guns, but yeah, there we go. Deal damage. Smart move. See? Let me pick up that cash. A thousand bucks. I'm ready to play aggressive. Move forward. There we go. Get the stem. You see the beauty? Not a smart move. But we're playing pretty good. Almost. But you guys get the point. Now here's where I get stuck. Uh, here's the example of what I mean by broken. The ability, the grenade is not throwing. Not this part, but I'll show you guys where. Good throw, good throw. Even if I don't take the down and I get the kill, I get the um, I get the box. So that's a good play. Like save me the bodies, guys. I get to pick up those boxes. So that's another scenario, guys. Here I'm trying to throw it. It doesn't throw. I'm trying. I'm aiming it up. I'm trying to throw. It gets stuck. But we won. I was just trying to like close it out. But you guys see, man. Um, is she becoming a better character for me? Yes. Uh, I did say on my video before that she's number two, a uh, fighting fixer. I think she takes number two for me uh, in terms of the gameplay, what she can do. Um, you know, honestly, once you get a good handle on the gun, you get your settings right. Uh, and I'm talking about controller players. She's very, 
very fun. Um, and then once you figure out how to use the gadgets, how to switch them out appropriately, how to use the drones, the drones, I'll get better with it, how to plant them. Um, knowing that even if you don't take the down, but you eliminate the opponent, you get the box that's broken or pick up the multiple, uh, grenades. Yeah. Things become very, very interesting for sure. Um, in strikeout and I've seen in demo, she rocks. So, you know, when I say broken, there's little things. And what I mean by that was that, you know, the gadget wasn't throwing when I was hitting, which I knew that was going to happen. The same thing would happen with Anvil with the shield. So there's going to be bugs. The other thing too is, are they going to remove the ability to stack the grenades once they find out that people are going to be complaining about it? Because it does get very intense with those grenades. Or will they nerf the grenade bounce, meaning how far it goes? Like how much does it travel from a bounce? Because that becomes very hard to, to, to maneuver from. Um, and then the other thing is if you don't take down the opponent, but you eliminate them, do you get the box or you don't? Because if that's the case, I can tell my teammates, Hey guys, just leave the bodies. Let me take them out. So I can replenish gadgets. And that's a smart tactic. That's a smart play. If it's part of the game. Cool. If it's not, and it's being exposed. What do we do there? Um, and then yeah, the drones, the one thing I'll say about the drones is that when you are shooting and you're moving from a wall away from a wall and you target it and you go back to the wall. Sometimes those drones will hit the wall that you're facing, which in reality, it should have been the target that you were shooting at. So that's another issue that I noticed uh, with the drones. Um, I've heard people say about the splash damage, getting that fixed up. Uh, I've heard a lot of comments on that, but overall she's fun. Uh, if you guys haven't picked up a new character and let's say you guys have the money or the reputation points, definitely go for Kessero. Uh, and then I would say get Dahlia second. Uh, Castro is just very, very strong. Uh, as you guys can see, we died two times. We did 4,200, about 43. We got 32 eliminations, 21 downs. Um, and then we stacked up uh, number one. We played another team as well. So nothing too intense in terms of competition, but it was a good game. Uh, overall, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this content in terms of the topic. And please let me know below. And also, if you guys like Rogue Company content, please like, comment, it only helps the algorithm, and I do appreciate you guys watching, but I'll catch you guys on the next one later.